Welcome to the Antoy Show's Questions and Antoy. It's where we answer your burning questions from social media, online, email, and our website. So I get a lot of questions about relationships, love, sex, that kind of fun stuff. And so I wanted to do like one episode where I kind of address some of those questions. We go on the streets of Hollywood, California and get answers to your questions. So let's check it out. This is the Antoy Show, Questions and Antoy. Today we address some of your relationship questions. I got my favorite co-host, Fiona from France, the country of love, to go to Hollywood Boulevard and ask your questions of our wannabe street therapist. Today we're on Hollywood Boulevard to ask questions about sex, love, and relationship. I know everything about sex, I know a little about relationship, and I know a lot about love. Number one, you have to like the person. Number two, you can't be with them for money, because sooner or later, you can't fake it. Number three is, you can't be with a person based on looks, because eventually the looks going to fade and you got to have a conversation, you got to be able to communicate. What you think? I think I pretty much agree with what you <laughs> Everything. I'm always right. They call me the love doctor. That's right. What things should not be discussed on first date? Exes and, I don't know, I guess just exes. Sex. I think it should be held off to at least the second or third date. How do you handle it if a partner in a new relationship talks about their ex a lot? You let it go on for a little while until you're kind of sick of it, and then you have to just let them know that you're not comfortable with the conversations anymore. What do you do if a partner feels uncomfortable about public display of affection? Yeah. Probably talk to her about it. We'll see what our problem is. Try and give her a bit more confidence. Let the other person know how affectionate you are, and they agree with it. And they're uncomfortable, don't do it. What do you do if your partner <laughs> wants you to participate in a threesome? I guess it depends who it is. But I think it's good. Aren't you afraid of the damages it can, it can do to the couple? I mean, you're not going to take yeah. the risk. It's, yeah. nice. it's give and take. Before you get together, you should already know a little bit about the person in that area. Your fantasies will always come true if you hang in there long enough. I mean, I wouldn't do it, but... You wouldn't do it? No. Never. Would you do it? No, never. <laughs> That's disgusting. You have to agree, you know. I mean, if she feel uncomfortable or he feel uncomfortable, then... They shouldn't do it. What do you do when you begin to fall out of love with somebody? See if there's something to salvage, and if there's not, maybe it's time to move on. And if there is, spend time and energy. Do the best you can to make it work. Well, you fall back in love with someone. I don't know how you do that. That's a quick fix. You gotta find the right one. How do you find the right one? Internet dating. Internet dating. Yeah. I would just let them know so they're not wasting their time. Break up with the guy and move on. I just took his number. So her friend broke up with him and she took his number. What? The French girls. <laughs> when you're falling out of love, I'd find more hot men. What do you do when you have gotten bored with your sexual partner? You just start to back off and pull away and hope they'll break up with you before you have to do it. <laughs> Tell the guy that you don't love him anymore and just, you know, tell him to find somebody else. You have to invent new ways to make it fresh again. What are these new ways? You, you get new. toys, you get go different places, take baths and showers together. A lot of different new stuff. You gotta, okay. you gotta be innovative. Innovative. Would you move in with someone if you really love them? Yeah. Yeah, of course I, I would. would. Yeah, it, well, it depends on how long y'all been together. How many years? How many months? I'll probably say a year, a maybe. Couple of years. A, year. Yeah, a couple of years. How long do you think you should date someone before you could consider marriage? Oh, a good year. After a year, you should know the person. I think anything under 10 years, going past 10, 15 years, eh, we might be talking a little bit too much. Dates. It really don't matter these days. You should just marry somebody as soon as you meet them. Or maybe not. Matter of fact, don't marry them. Marry them or don't marry them? Don't marry him. Will you date someone that doesn't make as much money as you? Man, money's not really an object to me, so it doesn't really matter how much money they make. If they make a lot, hey, that's a plus. They don't, you know. I'm trying to know for them, not for their wallet. Probably learn something from a woman that makes more money. I wouldn't mind. Some guys don't, though. Especially if you get married to someone that makes money, that's more difficult. They should make more money than me. No, I'm joking. They should, it should be around the same, you know. But more money is always better. What do you think are some common relationship issues? Just like when you have sex. Money. 
money. <laughs> money issues. I think it also matters who you're dealing with and how, how old they are and what they've been through as far as uh, relationships go. Both have to come to an agreement on, on certain things, so you know that becomes an issue. Sex. How do you know when you're in love? When you can spend a lot of time with someone uh -huh. and you're not sick of them after you spend that time with them and uh -huh. you know you can trust them, they can trust you. When you're willing to go through hard times with someone and stay with them and love them even when they're not being nice, when it's going through dark times, that's how you know when you love, when you're willing to stay and fight for the relationship. That's love. At what point do you think it's okay to say I love you? Oh. Now that is a really hard question. I don't really think there's a time frame. Um, it all depends like on the, the right person, time. you know. Whenever you feel is right. I think some people say it too soon sometimes, and that, that'll that bitter up the relationship real quick. When I mean, you know it's that, that one, your person, your significant other, and you know it's the right time, you should let them know. You know you're in love when you do anything for the person, I guess. Yeah, when it doesn't, it's not about you anymore. That moment that you know that you would give everything you have. I mean, it's the moment you know you'd rather die a billion horrible deaths than just to see that person feel one ounce of pain. That's when you say, I love you. Because those words actually mean something. Love, love, love. We all love love. What are some of the things that are important in having an amazing relationship? You have to first love yourself. Self-love is key. And secondly, loving your partner. Doing everything you can to show them how you truly and really feel about them and expressing it in your actions. Honesty is important. You don't want to be in a situation where you can't be your true self, can't express yourself, or are not expressing yourself. Communication is probably one of the things that can destroy a relationship so fast because we can't get into each other's heads and figure out what we're thinking. So you have to communicate your feelings and your thoughts and your needs to your partner and trust. Once the trust is gone, it's very, very difficult to get that back. Commitment where you have both agreed, this is what we are committing to. And if at some point during that commitment, your level of commitment changes, you need to communicate that. Make sure you're spending quality time with each other to build on the relationship. Schedule date nights, put as much laughter and as much fun in your relationship. There are no quick fixes to relationship issues. You have to work at it. But you know what? That work doesn't have to be grueling. It can be a whole lot of fun. I guess you have your answer. Thank you so much, Fiona, and our wannabe street therapist, Hollywood. If you have questions you'd like answered on the Antoy Show, questions and Antoy, send them in. You should already be following us on all our social media platforms, so you can DM us and you can also email us through our website. For more shows and segments, go to youtube.com backslash The Antoy Show. And for more inspiring content, go to mangoseed.tv. Thank you guys so much for watching. Spread the love, and I will see you soon.